2 Chronicles chapter 5. Thus all the work that Shlomo did for the house of Adonai was finished. Then Shlomo brought in the gifts which David his father had consecrated, the silver, the gold and all the utensils, and put them in the treasuries of the house of God. Bringing the Ark of the Lord Shlomo assembled all the leaders of Israel and all the heads of the tribes and the chiefs of the paternal clans of the people of Israel, to Yerushalayim, to bring the ark for the covenant of Adonai out of the city of David, also known as Zion. All the people of Israel assembled before the king at the festival in the seventh month. All the leaders of Israel came. The Levine took the ark and brought up the ark, the tent of meeting and all the holy utensils that were in the tent, these are what the Kohanim and Levine brought up. King Shlomo and the whole community of Israel who had assembled in his presence were in front of the ark, sacrificing sheep and oxen in numbers beyond counting or recording. The Kohanim brought the ark for the covenant of Adonai into its place inside the sanctuary of the house, to the especially holy place, under the wings of the Kerubim. For the Kerubim spread out their wings over the place for the ark, covering the ark and its poles from above. The poles were so long that their ends could be seen, extending from the ark into the sanctuary, but they could not be seen from outside, they are there to this day. There was nothing in the ark except the two tablets Moshe put there at Horev, when Adonai made the covenant with the people of Israel at the time of their leaving Egypt. When the Kohanim came out of the holy place, for all the Kohanim who were present had consecrated themselves, they didn't keep to their divisions. Also the Levine who were the singers, all of them, Asaph, Heman, Wydutton and their sons and relatives, dressed in fine linen, with cymbals, lutes and lyres, stood on the east side of the altar, and with them 120 Kohanim sounding trumpets. Glory fills the Lord's house. Then, when the trumpeters and singers were playing in concord, to be heard harmoniously praising and thanking Adonai, and they lifted their voices together with the trumpets, cymbals and other musical instruments to praise Adonai, for he is good, for his grace continues forever, then, the house, the house of Adonai, was filled with a cloud. So that because of the cloud, the Kohanim could not stand up to perform their service, for the glory of Adonai filled the house of God.